that is the Kurama waters of Lagos. I love it. My name is Falon Shualakuja. This is my Lagos. As a young girl, to the best of my knowledge, when I was about five, six, I lived with my parents in the heart of Lagos. We lived in a big four-story family house in Idoluo Street. And my father traded between Dosomo Street and Oroini Street. And that whole area was residential leading into the commercial heart of central Lagos. And we used to walk to school. And there were plants left and right of the roads. There wasn't too much hustle and bustle. I remember also that whilst living in the heart of Lagos, that people used to refer to each other by the registration number of their cars. I remember particularly the Ajala family was facing the Ogwara family house in Lagos. And there was a gentleman there whose registration number was LO4. Up till today, I don't remember his first name. I just know him as LO4. Just as uh, himself and uh, his brothers and sisters would have uh, remembered my dad's uh, registration number as well. And I also remember that uh, my dad had just bought a Mercedes uh, at that time. It was very new and um, we used to go to school in it. I also remember days when the car couldn't take us to school and we would have to enter public transport. There was the LMTS and there was the Bole Kaja. The Bole Kaja vehicles were made, were, were made of wood and people would be seated left, right and centre and to be able to get in more passengers into the vehicle. The vehicle would start, they would start it on purpose and then apply the, the brakes suddenly to be able to allow other passengers to come in. I actually did get transported in that as well. I remember also that in Lagos of those days, you could sleep outside your house. There were no fences, nobody cared about fences. There was little or no security whatsoever. I've lived 59 years of my life in Lagos, so I'm a Lagos lizard. The social life um, was such that uh, there were always street parties. And I remember that it was in one of those street parties that my husband and I actually met. When we were cutting, we used to go to many mama put areas where it was fun to just buy rice in leaves and eat it inside your car. Ikorodu people are very, very sociable. We love parties. I remember that um, many were always looking for one excuse or the other to have, you know, to celebrate something. It would either be you, oh, one fada, okay, one yoku dad. But a lot of parties uh, were celebrated in the evenings because people didn't have to be security conscious. Parties were usually all night. It took years after that before uh, people would say, no night parties, please. So Lagos was very secure. I also remember that uh, part of traveling in those days was about going by sea if you were going abroad. Uh, very few people traveled by air. And I remember that uh, even traveling by air in those days was uh, through the airline called BOAC. There was uh, UTC and Kingsway stores. They were the two biggest department stores in Lagos then, in the heart of town. Part of social life, of course, were you know some of the nightclubs. I hardly went to nightclubs. There was the Mainland Hotel in Ibute Meta. There was Kakadu. Social life in Lagos was fun, extreme fun. And as a young girl growing up, as a teenager, I remember with the nostalgia how I used to uh, go and help my mom in her store. That was where I learned a lot. That has helped me to grow in my business, the various businesses that I ended up uh, going into later on in life. Making it, as Nigerians would say, has been in Lagos. Lagos has evolved and it is still evolving. Lagos is my best city, best city ever. I cannot, I will not live anywhere else. Eko akete, idu wabam, aromadane de komamajao, eko aromisa, emelegbe, komasiju tao pe ekowe, apiro, 
This is my Lagos story.